Hello friends, this is Theron, and this might be a place unfamiliar to you, because I've never played here before on camera. So welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Um, it's a 1.8 server, it's a private server, um, and I'm just getting started so I have somewhat meager setup going on here. I do have a enchanting table um some stuff oh look my mailbox oh armor stand fishing oh cool somebody left me some goodies um i am a member of a group called crash space that is very impressive sorry I had to scratch my mustache uh and uh we do sort of technology education and i've been playing a lot of minecraft with the intention of uh, using it to teach electrical engineering especially analog circuitry or analog logic oh wow to to kids using minecraft as a way of sneaking that in so so i set up this server and invited some of the folks to come play Ooh, piggies and um, so we've we've been playing there's a few of us on there so I'm gonna do a little server tour this is my little out my little uh, home base here not very much yet not very impressive I am collecting some eggs almost full there I have a portal Ooh. the situation in the nether is um, relatively safe but I have not Located this is a door. Yes, it is. Thank you uh, <laughs> um, So I've got a little you know, I'm not super rich yet. Here's my Goodies chest. So I have you know 11 diamond. I do have a rabbit's foot, which is kind of exciting We have not found a swamp biome yet nor a slime chunk so these sticky pistons came out of a jungle temple and um and that's it that's all there are so let me go show you around right now there's three of us playing on the server here's the map that I've done so far this is where we are at home um, this is a zoom each of these are zoomed out one so it's a one to two scale I don't remember what that means in terms of number of blocks this represents I've mapped out you know this much stuff I need to go and do in the corners Wow. So one crash base member, Vex, VexFX, started. Hello, chicken. Give me your feathers. Um, he started out building this castle right away. He's a relatively new player. Oh, goodness gracious. That's that was a little startling. So this is his castle. He's got a little uh, spruce forest over here that he uses as a wood farm, and he has set up a rather impressive um, farm area. So we got a bunch of cows. There were more, but I killed a bunch yesterday. A bunch of sheep, different colors. A bunch of chickens, which I helped uh, gather gather eggs for. We have some bunnies, and for some reason, there's an egg in with the bunnies. There's a chicken in with the bunnies. Let's fix that. There's two chickens in with the bunnies. Oh, no, 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 sorry, sorry. I put you out of your misery? No, okay. Whoa, whoa. No, that's just little dirt particles, okay. <laughs> These bunnies were very difficult to get because they are, they're stupid. They jump off mountains and stuff. Uh, I had to go way over there to get these guys to get the first two We did not have bunnies right around here. It was a big pain in the butt. Whoa Who spawned an iron, an iron golem in with the pigs? Okay I have to do something about that. Actually, I could be free iron. 
I'm sure that was an expensive build on somebody's part. Uh, so we got melons and pumpkins. We got fields of wheat, carrots and potatoes, sugar cane. Pretty well set up. It's not not a bad uh, not a bad farm setup, and it's been how I've been doing XP farming. Oh, that's gonna change. So very good. Nice castle. Nice lookout tower goes all the way up to the top. It's starting to get dark, so I need to hurry this up. <laughs> um, so, and then uh, Metal Nat started building this. Oh, and yesterday Metal and Vex worked on that, which is very impressive. And let me get a screenshot because that's very, very cool. That's our Crash Space logo that they built with carpet on the ground. They had at least one flooding accident, so I don't, I don't know how permanent that's going to be, but that's very cool. We may have to uh, encase it in glass or something. Actually, not a bad idea. So Metal has this little, his little uh, castle. It's not really a castle. It's dug into the inside of a mountain. I don't know what the heck's going on back. Whoa! He's got his library all ready for his chanting setup. It's a little dark in here. Um, he's going to put potions over here, I think. I think that's what the line says. And then he's got up here a... It's a, it's a oblong. It's not a, it's not a square tower, <laughs> so it makes the stairs a little bit weird. Because it's shorter on two sides than the others. But he's got a big lookout tower. Which is very cool. Gives you a nice view of things. And even more importantly. It's visible from all over the place. Pretty far away. So it's pretty cool. Um, and then I built an ice farm. Which. Uh, frankly. I think I'm the only one that has a silk touch pick so so um, that's uh, 43 woo so I'm, I'm leaving behind ice for other people if they want to use it so this lookout is pretty cool you can get a nice view here of the uh, of the castle and our little spawn valley here or plateau plain whatever there's a big jungle biome off that way um, it's a lot of snowy biomes other places there's uh, a spiked ice plains biome that way so I was able to get some packed ice, which is awesome. Uh, yeah, but let's see, this staircase is here for a reason. Oh, what's going on there? Why is there a pool of lava down there? One thing that's really interesting about playing on a server with other people is you don't know, you don't have control over everything. You don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to play in vines from up here and have them go down to a pool of lava for no apparent reason. It's okay. Or, where did my... Is that it down there? Yeah, I think so. Let's go down there and find out. Um, but the other thing is there's a sense of competition that I didn't really expect. Which is kind of cool. So you feel kind of rushed, like you have to hurry up and take care of things so I'll show you an example here in the initial days of course oh snow golem oh that doesn't help that's kind of cool um, in the early days as in last week uh, we had basically it was a mad rush to get resources and it still is, it's still constrained to some extent. Hello. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you do that. What time is it? Okay, it's almost midnight. Got creepers over there. Goodness gracious. Okay, let's just go back up. If I can find my way. So, I'm feeling a sense of urgency, whereas before, I might have just sort of said, oh, you know, I don't need an XP farm just yet. Oh, goodness. Ah. I'm looking for an entrance inside of the mountain. I thought it'd be easier to spot during the nighttime. Oops. Oh, I'll just do that. Ah. Nah. We have not found any villages yet. There's a lot of things we haven't uh, haven't quite found yet, but we're we're making progress. Um, goodness gracious, we've been searching for a lot of things, like uh, we haven't had a lot of luck finding wolves yet. As I said, no uh, swamp biomes. A lot of it's snowy like this. I love the snow. It's very pretty. Okay, so I can go back up here. And unfortunately, I'm not the only one on the server, so I can't go to sleep. Okay, uh, I'm going to go find the uh, the other thing and and uh, kind of let come back when I find it. Okay, welcome back. So, trying to gather resources early on in a cave system, came across this. Oh. Zombie spawner. So I dug out a space for it. Oh, there's somebody behind the wall here. Uh, dug out space for it, and I'm going to go ahead and dig down. I have a little bit. There's some lava up there, so I have to be a little careful about this. But... And there's a... There's more cave system down here. So, I have to be a little bit careful. Hello, guys. Yeah. Is there somebody else there, or are you the only one? So, I'm going to dig down. I'm going to dig my, uh... I'm going to put the water sources along here, pushing all the zombies over into a trench here, which then pushes them down into this corner, avoiding the lava up there. Lava up here. And uh, then dig down here. For the, uh, the kill room. another source block here pushing all the guys down this way and then uh, dig down here one more it's a little dangerous digging straight down but um, so then I'll need to dig my way down into uh, down to the kill room which I'm imagining putting down over that way about six blocks down and I'll close this up put in the water Put out the lights, activate this guy, and uh, should get uh, some zombie action. Be a nice little XP farm because right now it's a little bit tricky getting enough XP to get the proper enchants and stuff. And I'm gonna need more stuff here, but anyway, that's it. I need to bring some of the ice from the ice farm to seed all the water. But this is uh, this is gonna be the first big project I do. It'll be an XP farm everybody can use. And uh, see what's behind here. I may regret this. Oh, especially since I don't have an axe. Maybe I'll 
Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Unexplored territory. Okay, we will have to do something about this. Because... This could cause us some problems. Oh, we get some rail track though. Minecart track. Okay, oh, and there's some iron. I want to get into a caving episode here. Oh, it's a dead end. Excellent. Let's collect this stuff here while I'm here. I keep hearing spider sounds over there. I suspect there might actually be a spider spawner too. So we could have a string farm, which would be nice. I will need this iron for hoppers. Excellent. Yeah, okay, let's get the rest of this wood. So resources are still a bit tight. Um, I have mostly iron tools. I do have a diamond sword and a diamond pick. And I haven't been able to get enough levels to get decent, like, unbreaking enchants on those. I have fortune on the diamond pick, which is nice. I will have to come in here and figure out that spider noises because it's good. if there's a spawner over there, it's going to be a problem. Especially since if I'm in range of the zombie spawner, I'll probably be in range of the spider spawner. Which might be good and might be bad. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Clear the sound. Then we'll go back. It's still dark. I've been wandering off a bit. We have not yet found a uh, desert biome or a swamp biome or a mesa biome. So there's there's a lot more exploration to do, which is fun on a multiplayer server because it's you can't. Uh, you can always, even if you bring a bed with you, can't always go to sleep. So that's that's been an interesting challenge. Come on, so slow. I'm also partly killing time so that. When I get out of here, the sun's up, and I don't have to worry about more beasties. I had a little bit of creeper trouble getting down into here, so I'd like to fix that. All right. I'm glad this is not a big cavern. I was concerned about that. Because what I'm going to do for the uh, the kill room is I'm just going to dig straight down a few blocks and then start digging out to the side. And figure out how to make an entrance for that. So that could be a little dangerous, especially if there's a big cavern with lava underneath. So that's no good. Uh, the nether. So the we have the nether portal. And uh, it works. Leads us into a fairly safe place in the nether. I've built a small enclosure around the portal on that side. There's nothing too nasty around. Uh, but there's nothing too great either. have not found a, a fortress. So I'm going to have to work on that. Uh, find a fortress so we can uh, get some blaze rods and start brewing. Oops. Uh, you're dark over there. And... Uh, and then, you know, get some magma cubes and whatnot. We have not yet found any slime. So that's that's going to be an interesting... Interesting if there aren't any nearby um, slime chunks. There's a lot of lava up here. So, that is... Come on. Yeah. Server lag is also a very real thing.
and there's more over there okay anyway I will be back working on this more and I'll show you more of that as I make progress let's uh, let's get out of here and go say hi to the guys so the Vex joined And this stairway, after I found the uh, spawner, the stairway came out of me getting horribly lost inside the cave system and just uh, building a stairway up. Comes out on top of a mountain pretty much, which isn't the most convenient entrance. So I'm planning on once I figure out the kill room, figure out where I am and building a horizontal tunnel out to the side of the mountain so that we can just uh, walk in and out from a lower altitude. I think that will be very convenient. Woohoo! All right. So the little spawn valley is over here. There we go. Anyway, so that's, uh, that's where we're at with this. And we'll be doing more. You know, Vex was playing around with water. He was trying to get the water to flow out somewhere and was learning water mechanics. So, so it didn't work out exactly the way whoops, he had poked. Let's see where they are. Ooh, spider. Spider eyes. All right. <laughs> this is pretty crazy. It's got a little moat flowing down into a pool. Okay, so I'm going to call that an episode and uh, we'll come back and update you when we've made a little more progress. Till next time, I will see you later. Bye.